right, good morning everybody. So today is the second day of school. We are ready to rock and roll. I've got my little cart here, which I'm gonna go over with you in a second. I've got all my papers laid out for the day. I've got my setup back here and here as well. A little scattered, but there's a lot that we've got to do today. So let me show you what we're gonna do. All right, so as always, the students are gonna come in. Today with my intro, we're gonna do our calculations from last semester and over the summer. We're gonna go over the syllabus and the rules and we're going to need to have them have their hour sheets and their phone. Their phone because they don't have their computer or tablet yet uh, issued out to them, so they need a way to check the TDLR um, search engine for their hours. So on the Promethean, or on the whiteboard, I have the site pulled up, okay? I do have Pandora on there as well, so they can go ahead and uh, come in and there's some lively music going. I went ahead and laid out their month, their hour sheet from May, so um, in June, so they can go ahead and initial those, hole punch them, and then we'll put them in the binders. And then this is just a sheet that I created. It is to help them keep up with how many hours they have so far. Uh, they take it home at the end of the school year and it has all four years in there. Okay, so at the end of the school year, they're all aware of how many hours they have. Not everybody turned it in, so some of them might still have their sheet. So there's extra and then the ones that did turn it in. On their table, I do have them uh, with a sticky note. Okay, so my first period have 10 students. So uh, they're gonna put their name on their sticky note. And then I'm gonna set them in order. Uh, alphabetical order okay so then we're going to then have them pick there's only 10 so in first period so there's only 10 of these lots so we're going to go alphabetically in order okay and then they're going to put their sticky note here and then i will put their little tag with their name nice and up and then of course the bottom will do the same without the sticky notes but we'll start getting the freshmen to put their uh binders and such in those crates all right so back here on my rolling cart I have what I need for the first week, okay? We are going over the syllabus, so we'll have some Lay's potato chips that we'll pass out. Hopefully I have enough, I think I do. You just get a little handful. I have my copies that I'm gonna hand out for my junior, my, sorry, I keep saying juniors, my sophomores. My syllabus, I've got my remind code, and I've got some skills to save forms for them. And so we're gonna go over this today. I'm gonna give it to them in a folder. The folders are down here. So they keep everything together. There's some supplies in the kit that came in uh, that were back ordered. I'm gonna hand those out as well. And then they have a little journal that I got off of Teachers Pay Teachers. It's a um, growth mindset. It's uh, like a bell ringer. So like a quick start per se. So I have things for freshmen there in the middle as well. Over here, I have a pile of things that I have to go through. So remind them about our shirts that we have for sale. We're gonna do their tags, their name tags. Those name tags I have here, I'm currently putting them in order. We're gonna go over their binder and their permit, what needs to go in the binder. And the binder in the back of the binder, they have their rule book. This is an outdated one, it's an example, but go over that. Go over student information, go over their folders, and then talk about their planners. I am doing uh, tickets today, prizes for questions, so I have some candy treats there. So that, I put it in order to keep myself organized. So I've got name tags here, I've got they're gonna come over here and put their name on the ticket and put it in the box. We're gonna get some plates and napkins and get some chips from here. I will serve them just simply because they're not very good at uh, not taking the whole thing. And then here is their questions and vocabulary for each chapter. So those are printed and those will go in their binder as well. Okay, so all of that is what we have going on for today. I did take away the little glittery beads that I had um, and I left the black and white. Tomorrow I would take the those out off and then by the end of the week I'll take those gold decor circles off as well. This will be gone by Friday. Okay, so then Slowly we make it go back into a normal classroom. I just like to have like the excitement of all the new glittery shiny things. This is the beginning and then that's it. 
All right, so they're in homeroom now, and so the kiddos will be here in just a little bit. Um, I've just got to spray some body spray on just to make sure I'm smelling okay. Pop in a breath mint and wait for them to come in. I'll catch you guys at lunchtime. Alright, so this is what my desk looks like. After the kids leave, I actually kind of organized it a little bit because the papers were all over the place. But it kind of exploded. So students are gone. Um, I went ahead and had them here put their name. I've got some students are going to be sharing, but their name is on their cubby hole. I'm going to make some labels for that. And I went ahead and stacked up their student file folders and their name tags are in order there. So by, by class period. And I drew the tickets. I drew three tickets that we're gonna do a big prize for Friday. What else? Kits are passed out. Those are for freshmen. And we're good to go. So, so far so good. What I didn't do is I did not do the bag of chips tomorrow. We'll do that tomorrow. We wouldn't have had time anyway. We would have run out of time. So what I also ran out of time and because I was on the bottom of the pile and I thought I wasn't copied is the welcome back packet for the sophomores that they didn't get. They should have gotten this in April and May and they didn't. So that's like the dress code and fees and stuff like that. I had talked to them about it but I just didn't give them the official packet. So that's that. And now hungry so I'm gonna grab me a lunch from my fridge that is conveniently stored there uh, I'm gonna eat a salad and then I'm gonna get my freshman packs ready I'm gonna go ahead because I'm working there I'm gonna pack I'm gonna stack up here um, all of the papers they're gonna get for their binder I told them to bring their binder today so we're gonna fill that up give them their dividers etc etc so lunch reorganize do my to-do list. I had three students with a name tag and I had to laminate some. And then check email, prep for freshman class, clean up a little, and then be done. All right, see you guys in a little bit. So new thought, I'm gonna bring me some slippers because my feet hurt. All right, so what I'm doing now is just working on some name tags, um, my sophomores that I had not laminated these because I ran out of laminating pockets. Whoops, I cut that one wrong. So now they're laminated. <laughs> get to finish my lunch. I had a few interruptions in between, but that's okay. I do have my setup for freshmen ready, and I went ahead and set up in one pile everything that I need for them. And I got my name tags in order for my next class period. I also have some stands that we'll be giving away today. So tomorrow, I also went ahead and set up my stuff for tomorrow for 10th grade and for 9th grade so we are good to go with that all right so in class what we'll be doing is just getting together our student binder putting all of our papers together and the kids will begin here in just five minutes all right so we're taking the students out into the hallway thanks sir appreciate you hi Asia. <laughs> what are you doing on the floor ah mm, you'll get it all right, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna split you up into two teams. So let's get you as a group right here. So y'all get into a circle. And let's get you guys here as a circle, okay? Shoulder to shoulder, make your circle, close your circle. Okay, these are your two teams. 
Okay, your BFFs for the next five minutes. Do we have too many on this side? Yeah, let me have you come over on to this side. Okay, we're switching. All right, there you go. All right, so this are, these are the rules of the game. You're going to hold someone's hand. You have two hands. Like, let's say that Nathaniel and I were across from each other. Both of our hands cannot be holding, only one hand. Okay? So you cannot hold two hands with the person in front of you, the same two hands. Rule two, you can't hold the person next to you hand. Rule three, you cannot let go hands the entire time. You're going to end up in a circle just like this, except for some of you might be facing inwards and some of you might be facing outwards. <laughs> okay? Can't let go of hands. You can't hold two people, a person, both hands. And you can't hold the person's hands next to you. Put your hands out, both of them out. Hold some, grab someone's hand, not next to you, and then not both hands. Everybody put your hands in the middle. Both hands, grab someone's hand that is not next to you and then you cannot grab two hands of the same person. Talk to each other, entangle each other. You gotta be in a full circle by the time you're done. together a lot right and in working together a lot we do a lot of projects we do say uh, competition we have district competition we do competitions within the classroom okay this is your freshman year this is the year one of four right this is the year you establish yourself in your new identity as a high school student this year sets the foundation for the years to come. The way you act this year, the way you carry yourself, not only with your peers, but with your future, will determine the rest of the three years. You will see him time and time again. Okay? I'm gonna pick on you. So let's say she and I have feet. She stole my boyfriend, she <laughs> stole my curling iron. She gave me the look, but she wasn't even talking to me. She was talking to her about who knows who, but I think it personal. She thinks I'm stinky or whatever, or I think she's stinky, all that, whatever, right? And then we bully each other. That's your freshman year. Full school year, you gotta sit next to her. Well, the next year you have me again, and then you're in the same class again. Because in your junior year, oh, guess what? You're in three class periods. All right, guys. How's it going? How's my hair? It's a little flat, but it's okay. All right, so um, take a look at my desk. Look, look. Wait, wait, wait. See my desk? Oh, it's clear. It's clean. It's organized. Wow. That hasn't happened in forever, especially what it's 315, 320, second day of school. And my desk is clear, my emails are checked, uh, my copies are made, the students are on track, my board is filled out, my calendar is good to go, and guess what? I'm going home. I'm so excited because I never ever ever have gone home this early at the beginning of school the second day of school i would have been here till like 10. no joke i've done that before because i'm collecting school supplies and i'm unpacking them and putting them in the bins and then i'm taking registration and parents are coming and i'm trying to do all that and putting their taking their pictures and printing and doing name tags and trying to finish decorating and trying to plan for my lesson for tomorrow and oh gosh and then starving and you know all that 
feels good when you have everything together. Let me tell you new teachers, again, I'll reiterate, it does not happen overnight. Never does it happen overnight. Um, it's taken me, this is my 10th year teaching here at the school for Pasadena, and in 10 years, that this has never happened. So, super excited. I had to drop a few students that are no longer with us in our program, and so, yeah, I gotta go do that. Uh, I've already printed the Shears report. I'm gonna put it in the binder. <clears throat> I'm gonna take my freshman binder home to decorate it and to jazz it up so I can have a good example for the students, but that's something I can do while I'm watching TV. I'm gonna watch TV tonight. So excited. And that's it. My, my setup over here, my setup is right here for my, um, for my sophomores and for my freshmen is over here in this little rolling cart. I didn't get to do the potato chips today because I totally ran out of time, but we'll do it tomorrow. I didn't get to go over the syllabus with the freshmen today, but we'll do that tomorrow. And then I'm gonna give them the tour of the salon. We did a team building activity today that we didn't get to do yesterday with them, so that was good. We caught up on them. And then the lights just went out. So our room is on a sensor. Uh, and so, gotta walk around with my hands waving up. Let's get the, there we go. All right, so, yeah. Tomorrow with the, oh, we have a photo shoot tomorrow, so I'm gonna take their pictures tomorrow. So I have their pictures already, but they're not the best. Um, so I'm gonna, I told them to like come dress nice and everything and that we're going to take their picture today or tomorrow and they're going to put that picture on their permit and all that good stuff, so. So Joss, super excited. All right, so I'm gonna pack it up. Oh, I wanted to share one thing with you, watch. Okay, so this here is my intro binder, okay? It's a recycled binder, okay? So in here, I have one of these that go by months. Start mine in August. All right. So, this is like the first day of school calendar, just to remind me what the schedule is going to be like next year, so I won't plan on these days because it typically doesn't change. Then here is all of my the handouts that I've handed out to my um, students, my sophomore so far, the syllabus, then the welcome back packet that they did not get in April this year, but it's okay. Skills USA registration forms. Their hour sheets, and then I have extra sheet protectors. And then behind there, I have September, October, November, December, and all the way till the summer. So, to keep myself organized so that next year I'm ready to go, I'm going to have this binder here. And I'm going to put in all the worksheets and stuff and everything that we do in August. And after August, then I'm gonna go and put everything in for September, October, November, et cetera. So that way, it's here. Awesome, awesome. So then I'm also gonna take my planner. So here's another thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my happy planner. And let's say that this was, I, I can't do it with this one because it's a double back. I'll put the whole calendar in the binder when I'm done at the end of school year. So I know next year what I did this year and kind of how it went and what to plan. And I'll write notes on here for myself for next year. Um, but so here I will put um, for my other planner, the July month or the August month, I'll put it in this tab. So that way when I go through this binder, bam, there it is. Um, I have all this electronically, but um, I like it. I prefer the binder. I know we're going paperless, but I don't know, maybe I'm old school, but I prefer the binder because I can see it and I can, when I'm showing a teacher, I can like show them, hey, look, this is what we did. And then I put two copies in here in case I ever need to hand one out for whatever reason or lose one. And then not only that, but I'm also my computer making a binder with the same thing. So I have it digitally. And then I also have it here. 
All right, guys, so that's it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe, and we will see you guys on the next one.